Well, now, today, the, the newest and most exciting aspect of, of Disneyland is, is what... Uh, I've turned this over on my tongue several times. What you call audio animatronics. Yes, audio animatronic figures. Uh, it's a... Uh, well, it's a sort of a, another door that's open for us. You see, our whole 40-some-odd years here has been in the world of making things move, inanimate things move, yeah. from a drawing through all kinds of any little props and things. Now we're uh, making these uh, human figures, dimensional human figures move, make animals move, make anything move, through the use of electronics. It's, uh, it's a tape mechanism that... Uh, the tape, it's like a se uh, programming or sequencing when they do a missile, when they're sending some, some missile to the moon, say. Yeah. At different stages, at different times, things must happen. And that's all programmed, predetermined. So our show is put on that tape, and it's programmed from this tape. And we run it off a little one-inch tape that has 14 tracks, and on each track we can get up to 16 signals. Now those little signals go and impulse this figure, and make the figure move, make the figure talk, and everything. Well, look, I could show it to you a lot better than, <laughs> than I can tell you about it. We come over here, and I'll give you a little preview. I should say. Well, here we are, Fletcher. This is a little audio electronic setup for the parlor, the yes, parlor kit, so here. to speak. Now, these are not working from tape. These are manually controlled. This little gizmo here, kind of like a joystick on the old type of airplanes, is what gives us a chance to program the birds. And as we work this and get all the little movements out that we want in the bird out, we record it on the tape. And then from then on, the tape will do everything that we've done here. Sit down, we'll have a little uh, go at this thing. Now, this is uh, not part of our Disneyland show. I mean, you know, the tiki room. This is a little robin that we had in Mary Poppins. Uh, and this little bird sang a duet with Julie Andrews. Maybe we can get a little response from it. Uh, hello there, kid. What can you do for us, huh? Can you sing, whistle, anything? Huh? That's pretty good. <laughs> now this is uh, <clears throat> one of the characters from the Tiki Room. He's actually a substitute. In other words, if uh, one of our uh, master ceremonies, we have four macaws who act as master ceremonies in the Tiki Bird Room Disneyland. And uh, they actually keep the show rolling. And along with them are other birds who sing and things, and flowers that sing. And then the tiki images, you know, the carved tiki poles and things with yeah. these tiki gods. They sing and they drum, and we have quite a show. But this is the boy that takes care of it. In other words, he's, he's a stand-in for one of them, you know. He's very alert. <laughs> Throw out your chest, show them how big you are. That's it. <laughs> now, this is Fletcher Markle of uh, CBC. I'm sorry, I didn't catch the name. Markle. How do you spell that, sir? M A R K L E. M A R K Markle. That's right. How do you do, sir? How do you do? Uh, whatever your name is. A uh, walk. Well, uh, what is my name? Well, I'll tell you the truth, we haven't given them a name yet. How would you like, uh, Jose? Ah, muchas gracias. This gives me an accent. <laughs> How do you do, Jose? Now it's official. How do you do? Oh, miss my accent. <laughs> well, that's just a little demonstration of audio animatronic figures. Now, let me make sure I understand what, what happens in, in controlling these birds by these extraordinary instruments, mm -hmm. you can at the same time record their movements on a tape? That's right, after we get it programmed. It's like rehearsing the show. And you go through it and rehearse it and rehearse it, and you finally say, that's it, and we say, all right, let's go for a take. And as we go for a take, all the things we do here are recorded, and then when we play the tape back, he will do everything he's doing here. Only it's all part of a program show, you see? And I, I understand, then, that the next step beyond the birds has been to do the same kind of programming with human beings. Yes, with human beings, yeah. I'm not going to replace the human being. I don't believe me. <laughs> no, it's just for show purposes, because uh, you take Disneyland down there, we operate 15 hours a day, and these shows have got to go on. Go on on the hour. Now, the Tiki Bird Show goes on three times an hour, 
And I don't have to stop for coffee breaks and all that kind of stuff. You see? So that's the whole idea of it. It's just another dimension in the animation that we've been doing all our life. It's now we're going into dimensional things and everything. It's a new door. It's a new toy for us. And we're having a lot of fun. And uh, we hope we can really do some exciting things in the future. May I try one here? Yes, yeah, you go right ahead. How about a song then? <laughs> what about you, Jose? You got anything to say? <laughs> hasta la vista. <laughs> That's right. Hasta la vista. Well, let's go over and finish our keys. Right.